This program has been made possible in part by We're here today with Barry Klein and Laura Bryant, and we're showing off short rows. Hi, guys. Hi, Uni. Hi, Uni. So, first off, for people who may not know, what is a short row? Short row is pretty descriptive, actually. It's when you work across a partial row of your knitting and turn in the middle of the row and then go back the other way. So just a shorter row than normal. Right. And what happens is if you build one row on top of another, mm -hmm. not quite going all the way, time and again, mm -hmm. you build up a triangular piece of knitting mm -hmm. where it's very long on one edge and very short on the other edge. It's like walking upstairs. Yes, and you've made a wedge. That's excellent. And now that you've got a wedge, all these stitches have stayed open. Mm -hmm. You can now turn and go down those stitches mm -hmm. and that's what we've done here. So yeah, walk us through exactly what the construction is here. Okay, so on this little wheel Mm -hmm. What we have is the beginning rows of Angora, mm -hmm. and then we've worked the gold yarn fewer and fewer stitches mm -hmm. to this point, and then more and more stitches until mm -hmm. we're back to the normal number, and then four rows of Angora. And we've repeated that wedge over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. So what it makes is this round spiral. It's a flat wheel. The, the thing that's just wild about it is that this is what you and I are wearing. Oh, wow. And when you pick it up, what you get, of course, oh, that's fabulous. is a flounce. It's like so a magic trick. You can really see clearly, I think, on this, you know, just how true it is that the work is much shorter on one side. Correct. And much longer, longer on, the, on other. the other side. So why don't you show us how you do short rows? Though? Okay. So the way that I do short rows, these are in garter, mm -hmm. and I do a simple wrap and turn that doesn't actually have to be picked up, which you do have to do at some times. So I am knitting to within three stitches of the last row. Now, when you're working with multicolored yarn, mm -hmm. it's really easy to see where those last three stitches are. Mm -hmm. The next stitch is slipped as if to purl. I'm sorry, yarn comes forward. Mm -hmm. Next stitch is slipped as if to purl. Mm -hmm. Yarn goes back. Stitch goes back on that needle. Mm -hmm. Turn, that's a wrap and turn. Now you can see that the yarn, the working yarn, is wrapped around that stitch. Mm -hmm. And now we knit back to the beginning of the row. So now why do you need to wrap? You do that to avoid having holes. And depending on the yarn, and depending on the size needles, everything, mm -hmm. you may or may not, if you simply slip, you may or may not have a hole where that slip happened. Mm -hmm. This tightens those slips, those holes up. Mm -hmm. So when you come back and go the other way along them, you can see here, you can see the line where the, the, the short rows are meeting, mm -hmm. but there aren't any holes, any gaps showing. Well, excellent. And now, these are all short rows that are kind of coming from one side. One side of the fabric right. gets longer. But can you work them on both sides as well? You can. And the one that I'm doing is done that way. In fact, what you can see is that, I call it like a butterfly. Mm -hmm. It's got a center spine and wings that come off of each side. So it's tighter in the center, ruffles in both directions. So it's, the work is actually longer at the edges than it is in the center. Exactly, exactly. And so on this one, to keep your edges flat, I slip my first stitch, just mm -hmm. move it over like I'm purling it. I'm gonna knit six stitches. Four, oops, five, six. And the difference on mine is that you just take it, turn around, Mm -hmm. and knit back. And there, did you yarn over or you just move the yarn I between the needles? I just moved my yarn between oh. the needles. So there's no yarn overs and there's no wrap and turn mm -hmm. in mine. You're knitting it on a little bit bigger needle than mm -hmm. you normally would. And so you don't worry about holes. It is part of the ruffling. And they're very, very subtle. And if you really wanted to pick them out, you could. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to see in a lot of the samples is that we've used yarns that are novelties or textures mm -hmm. or things so that no one's going to be up that close to see any of it. So it just depends on the kind of yarn that you're using for the most part. I see. Well, let's take a look. So what's happening in this first project? Well, this one is like the butterfly that we we're talking about. 
And what you can see is the center spine, mm -hmm. and you can see the ruffles on both sides. In this case, we've put little pico edges on it. Mm -hmm. So you cast on three, bind off three, and then get into your short rows. Oh, and it's a ruffle on a ruffle. Mm -hmm. So we're just embellishing. And the yarn itself is embellished with different kinds of beads. And if you look closely, you can barely see the little holes that are there. You, and, you really have to look close. And tell me what's happening at the very end. At the very end, what we've done is we've taken it and we've sewn it closed. Okay, and moving on. Moving on, this is a wrap version of it. So the technique is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. It's the butterfly technique, but it's twice or three times the number of stitches. The center spine, the ruffles off the edge, as is the one that's on the model next to me. Or this one, which is short rows on a really large scale. Yeah, this is, and this is um, the circular kind that we were looking at, where it's narrow on one end and very wide on the other, mm -hmm. and it really has just layering of short rows on top of short rows here, but it gives you a really lovely floaty kind of capelet effect. That's great. It's just great over the shoulders. You, you can move your arms and it's gonna stay in place. Mm -hmm. well, what I love about all these short rows is that they really are shaping the structure of your fabric as well as yeah, knitting, pretty. knitting architecture. Well, thanks so much, you guys.